Well, welcome to Cherokee Now. Today we have Josh Adams joining the show. Welcome to the show, Josh. Thank you, man. Thank you. Let's talk about a little bit about a special project that you've got going on at the museum. Uh, Revival of the Ancient Cherokee Millennial Artists. Renewal of the Ancient. Renewal of the Ancient. Renewal Thanks for correcting ancient. me. No problem. Tell me about the origins of this project. How did it come to be? Uh, basically, I was brought in by the museum to, to help curate a show. Uh, the idea of the show was that it would be a uh, millennial show, 40 years and under and uh, just kind of gather that, that group of artists that, uh, that are you know, from here that are working in uh, traditional forms and non-traditional forms uh, okay. just to, uh, to highlight those people. So how difficult is it to find artists in that millennial age group and what does that say about the state of art in Cherokee? Uh, it was you know, very easy from a, from a curation standpoint. You know, we, uh, my age group, you know, there, there are so many artists that are, that are practicing. Right. And, you know, if, if all those artists, you know, this is one of those instances where all those people came together and submitted artwork and, you know, just in, made my job a lot, you know, very easy, very easy to choose from. And, and, you know, just the artists alone that are in my age group are, you know, fantastic. So what would someone expect to see should they go to the to the exhibit? Uh, you'll see a little bit of everything. You know, I, I tried to do a, to curate a, a show that was, you know, had a variety of tricky artwork in it, you know, everything from the. Uh, from the traditional stuff like you know pottery and basket designs and stuff like that to to the non-traditional stuff like photography and you know uh, some some higher end paintings and acrylic work as well so okay. a little bit of everything little now bit are are any of these pieces for sale should the collector come through or should someone be building a new home and may want a piece of this absolutely there are a few pieces for sale uh, the uh, the museum will have a, a price list on everything that's available uh, some things are not available but you know uh, and we have some sacred items as well in the show so those things obviously aren't for sale but they are some there are some pieces for sale and some some young artists have some pieces for sale as well okay great what um, is this free to the public to get into, or is there a charge? Uh, I think there's a. It, it's it's just part of the museum as okay. well. So you basically, you know, if you're an enrolled member, it's free to you. You can okay. go to the museum anytime. Uh, however, if you're not an enrolled member, you can uh, pay pay the museum fee there and walk through. And it's just an extension. Which is of the a museum. fantastic museum already. So Absolutely. people should want to see that. Yeah. What's the evolution of this? What's next? Uh, you know, it's a it's a brand new space there at the museum, and I think that uh, you know. Uh, talking with Bo and Barbara and everybody there at the museum, this is kind of uh, how they see this uh, continuing is, is is through individual shows. Whether you know, you know, we've talked about even possibly doing uh, an, an another millennial show later on in the future, just to kind of incorporate everybody that we kind of left out this time. So you know, sky's the limit. Uh, we have a beautiful space now, so you know, it, look look forward to it. I Good. look forward to it. Yeah. And are there any partners that we need to thank for, for funding or any of those sorts? Of Definitely things? the museum and the co-op as well helped help tremendously. Uh, and, uh, you know, the Preservation Foundation as always and the, and the tribe as always. Uh, you know, everybody kind of pulled together and, and, and brought it all together. Made a great event for our local artists. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we, we spoke briefly about it before the show, but there's the idea potentially down the road of us having an Indian market. Absolutely. For people that are out there that aren't familiar with what an Indian art market is, uh, in Santa Fe annually in uh, August, they have a giant um, gathering of fine artists from mostly Southwest uh, tribes yep. uh, that's set up in Santa Fe. You've participated in I it. I have, I have, yep. Uh, I think it's one of those things that uh, we could definitely do here. We okay. definitely do here. And, uh, you know, everybody's kind of uh, to the point now, uh, I think we have that collection of professional artists, not only here, but out West, and that could come and, and participate in the show. And uh, I think it's time. I think okay. we have the venue for it. I think we have the uh, the the uh, the foot traffic for it. So okay. I think it's one thing that we could definitely put together. Good. So I I look for the evolution of this to be kind of the springboard into things like that. That we have regular galleries. That we have um, art markets and shows Absolutely. where fine artists sold, and uh, to give our fine artists, our young artists, millennial artists, something to work toward as a career path. Absolutely. You Absolutely. know, we used to make our money on our crafts. Yeah. That used to, that, a lot of our grandparents and and, yeah. and friends and relatives sold crafts. Yeah. And I think that's what I like about this show the most is is that, you know, we have you know artists from all all different communities, but I think every artist has that uh, that lineage right. of their family or their grandma or their uncle or you know so it, it's it's passed down whether you're a carver or a, a basket maker or a pottery maker like that it just gets handed down to right. you. And I think we tried to showcase that in the show. Now, will you see unique modern pieces of work coming out of this show? There, there are a few modern pieces as well. Uh, you know, I tried to, uh, you know, with Renewal of the Ancient, it, you know, I kind of, I wanted to stick with the theme of uh, just ancient artworks and, and, and ancient practices. Okay. And, and I wanted to, you know, really highlight those kids that are learning from their grandma or learning right. from their uncles and, and learning from their family. And I think that's one of the... Uh, the underlying theme of the, sh the one of the underlying themes of the show is just you know that 
that uh, you know that tradition of handing that artwork down right. to the next to the, the next torch generation. passing down absolutely and evolving absolutely. not absolutely. just being the same but evolving and carrying on some of those yep. values yep excellent well, is there anything else you'd like to say before we get off there here uh, no i think that's good man okay well thanks for joining us today i look forward to to visiting this uh, exhibit and, and congratulations to all the folks out there that are um, a part of this exhibit it's it's, a, it's an honor for you guys to be a part of that first annual one yeah and uh, i can't wait to see that thing grow and, and get to be a part of it year after year very cool thanks for having me man. all right for having me. that'll be it for today if you're home uh listening at home and you'd like to comment on what we've discussed today uh, please comment on our ebci cherokee now facebook page at facebook.com forward slash cherokee now we'll See you again very soon. Data Dog, honey.